What are we doing, Lisa Obies? We're making chili rellenos. And we're doing it keto style. We are doing it keto. Which we've never done before, so this will be interesting. Yeah, uh, normally I would use a different breading on the chili, um, but we're just going to use egg and see how it goes. Sure. Either way, it's a chili filled with cheese. How can you fuck that up? Right? Well, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe one of us set the fire alarm off earlier today. Yeah, no, she did. She definitely did. Um, I also think to make it interesting, I should ask you some fun questions. Okay. It'll be great. Stay tuned. Uh, yeah, what are we doing? We're blistering. Oh my gosh. They've... So what we're going to do is, oh, yeah, see, well, we just burnt these guys because they're plastic. Oh, sorry. That's why I don't usually use them, but Jess was worried about I my... was worried about you. It's okay, I've got metal on I should have been better. So we're just putting them on the open flame, which is amazing. One of the reasons I love having a gas stove. We're going to um, burn them up, and then that skin's going to actually come right off. But we're actually going to wrap them up in a towel after we're done. <laughs> How poor we need to be. Um... Because that's going to help keep in the heat, and they're actually going to steam themselves, and that's pretty much what cooks. Okay. We're doing two at one time because she's feeling feisty. I'm feeling crazy, people. Okay, feeling time, crazy. Time for the questions. Back to size. Okay. Close friends describe me as crazy. <laughs> Strangers describe me as beautiful. Only I know that I am. Only I know that I am obsessed with Mexican food and cheese. Oh, I don't know if that's a secret. I feel like I do that. For yeah, sure. that's with true. With our question, I feel like you did name your dog Mexico. That's because we were in Mexico. I know. I'm just being cheeky. His name is Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> because you're <laughs> enchilada. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> My last meal would be blank. I would eat it with Mexican food and I would eat it with Ryan Reynolds. Why not Canadian gold? The song that oh, the song that always makes me dance is anything Childish Gambino. The movie I've seen the most times is Star Wars or Mallrats. The book I would take to a desert island is 1980s Playboy porn. It might be hearsay, but blank is overrated. Tim Hortons. Oh, ah, cultural My drop. <laughs> oh shit, we're in Canada. Can't they like hang you and burn you at a stake for that's, that over here? That's some pretty uh, treasonous like, that's statements that freaking I just made there. Yeah, ballsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're we're throwing it down. Throwing it down. We're being honest. I think I'm really Fan good at. Honesty. I think I'm really good at. Yeah. Um, making people laugh. True. I feel the best when I am. My instinct was drunk because I was going to be a funny joke, but then I realized I should be more honest. In the sunshine. Okay, so this guy is all burnt up. Extra crispy. That's how I would like just make him to begin with. So now I'm going to wrap him in this. There's another one in there, and they're just going to steam they just, themselves. They like have big little pockets. Oh, they just cuddle in it. Yeah. Clean. Okay, that works. Yeah, make sure the towel's clean, guys. It's not be gross. The thing about myself I've learned to love is my body. The teacher I'm most grateful for is Mr. Vint. The animal I would compare myself to is um, a chinchilla. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I could talk about blank for hours on end. So, my hidden talent is. I don't know if I have a hidden talent. You must. Ask any guy I've dated. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, the failure of mine that has impacted my life was... Um, failure. I don't really believe in failure as much as, like, life lessons, but, uh... See, I don't like that word, failure. But well, you can use a different events word. Events that have impacted my life would be relationships. Good, bad, in their passings, I've learned from them. In their growth, I've become a better human. See, I think failure is only a bad word if you give it negative power. I think there's, I think it's a wonderful word. I mean, I think I, the world's made failure a negative word. Well, challenges. Screw that. I love the word challenges. I've had lots of challenges, and they've made me a better human. And brought me beautiful friendships. You might be surprised that my morning ritual includes blank every day. Um, I wrap my puppy dog Tinkerbell up on the couch, and we have like a full snuggle before we start the day. I don't know if that would surprise anyone who knows me.
My dog for my life. My TED talk would be about the power of the word no. I can sum up my life in this hashtag. Hashtag, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Love it. Stay tuned for the rest of the Cooking with J Cam episode. And by cooking with J Cam, we mean holding the camera while Lisa makes us dinner. Pretty much. She's helping me make guacamole. I am. I will be. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs>